She's very brave. Uh, snow plants, Luther's pass. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Hmm, facts. <clears throat> have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Oh. Kara, have you ever noticed anything? About Alice? No. What do you mean? Oh. Cora! What the fuck? Protect Alice. Grab gun. Push and push back. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Oh. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Oh. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good come idea. Come on, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. I think it'll be fun. Be our guest. I'm on board. The carousel is about to begin. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> that guy is so fucking jolly, dude. It's the first time I've seen her <coughs> smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. That was cool. That was adorable. That was a little adorable saying. <coughs> Golly! The group enjoyed a quiet moment together. What is this? Hank.
Okay, what do we got? Dude, there's a shitload of these uh, newspapers. Now, like I said in the beginning, uh, I I have seen the, a gameplay of this, and I know there's a there's some uh, you know some cool information in that those newspapers newspapers, but honestly, I don't think it's worth uh, checking out. <coughs> Rather focus on the main story instead. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. There's no question it's not your game before. Go back. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? <laughs> or is it just you? Auto. Oh, this is a hard question. I feel like if I say the <coughs> photo, he's gonna respond in a negative way. If I go the suicide way, he'll respond. We'll go there. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Oh, see? Whatever I do, they're always there. Yeah. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. I'm surprised he opened that quickly. Before, go back. Stop drinking. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Uh... Before... Before nothing. Hmm. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Shock system software. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. Hmm. Ashton Deviants, ironical. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. Oh my god. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human. But what are you really? Oh, the grass out defense is neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. Do you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? What the fuck? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Disturb, Cole. I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Hey, yo! But are you afraid to die, Connor? Not logical. You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? If I had Hank's anger, ironic nothing. You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. Oh! You're just trying to provoke a reaction. Oh, shit. 
I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. Boom! You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Oh, path unlocked. Where are you going? <coughs> Get drunker. Oh I my. need to think. Oh, dude. <clears throat> I swear, bro, this guy. Hank left calling her alone. I'm admired. Okay. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Oh shit. I was badass as hell. <clears throat> we'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access requests access at reception. Okay. I do for you. I'm okay, thanks. Back to human supervisor. Smart watch. Why do I care about that? Water service. What am I missing here? Oh, there we go. Elizabeth Wilson, desk manager. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, school, parking, fire department, school. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a what? fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. I'll be right there. Request access at reception. <coughs> there we go. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. <laughs> 
Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Use the Okay. Hell yeah. What's going on here? Kitchen, okay. The men's restroom. Uh oh. utility android <clears throat> i think that's uh let's see oh what's this hey man the more the better i need your help hey let's go Video maintenance cart. Where the fuck is the fire escape? Oh, right here, right here.
Yeah, I swear, this is such a fucking badass Shit. game. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. <coughs> Leave it to me. I track cards from away from the door. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. That windows? <clears throat> I mean, I, I highly doubt anyone can see us from up here, right? What? <laughs> As we're cutting, literally cutting through it. Oh, we are. Okay. Some hitman shit or double assertion shit. Ladies first. <clears throat> Let's do this. Early maintenance door lock. Okay. <clears throat> it 
Damn, we got all this high-end gear. I wonder if stealing the truck is uh, helped us get like better gadgets and all that, or if we would have had the same, the same shit regardless. <coughs> Uh, deal with the guards. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Ruse, assault. Wait here. What's that doing here? Hmm. No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Oh! What are you doing? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> There's like a camera right there, dude. Age broadcast room. Well, at least we didn't kill them, kill them. We just, you know, took them out for a bit. Maybe, <clears throat> let's see, maybe, is there a way to take their clothes? No. I guess not. All right, let's see. What can we do here? Ambush? Dangerous to operate a sign. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! Uh. No. There was no other choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much. Oh, uh, no. Done. about what you're going to say, Marcus. I got it. will shape the future of our people. <coughs> I got Marcus, it. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. <sighs> Let's go. created machines to be your slaves. Oh. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Recognition of slavery, equal rights, freedom of speech. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Recognition uh, end of slavery, freedom. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Justice, segregation, work, civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Justice, segregation, work. Oh, fuck. Work. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. 
Right to property, means of reproduction, territory. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Let's get out of here. There we go. Hopefully it did. <clears throat> Hopefully that was in, you know, too much. All right, let's see. Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Hey, let's go. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. <laughs> oh. oh! Go, go, go! What the fuck are you doing? Holy shit, dude. We interrupt let's our go. schedule programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. Uh. These events took <clears> place <throat> just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Uh. <coughs> I mean, I think we did the good thing. I think we we did the correct way. I feel like the cops they would have found this if we we let the uh if we let the the guy run away. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <coughs> uh, she is not going to be happy with this. I feel like every time I go to her, she seems more distant and more distant. Area. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Oh, she's not friendly anymore. She's neutral now. What the fuck? I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Hang. Fuck. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. What the fuck? You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Determined, cold, trouble. 
I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Kana. Conflict confident. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Huh? Why would you not check the roof? To make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Hmm, now I don't know if I should help out here. He shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. Thomas of it caused the death of your gunshot wound. How many people? But we're working here. Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. Roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You should be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Huh? Don't fuck up my crime scene. <laughs> what a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective.
Oh shit. Okay, register as Marcus. Get from Elisha Kamsky to Carl Mountford. You see something? <coughs> I identified its model in serial. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. What the fuck? All right, uh, time to snitch on myself. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Roof access. What are we looking at? Oh. Okay. Is this the for the CCTV? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Hmm. Oh, the bathroom? station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Oh. All right, here we go. Here we go. I mean, I highly doubt that they would know anything. Look for reaction. Function. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Hmm. Wait, what? Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a <laughs> deviant in this room. Yeah, that one. And I'm going to find out which it is. Come on, Connor, you know. Deal, guilt, threaten. If you give yourself up, Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Hmm. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Dude. going to be switched off we're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis you're going to be destroyed do you hear me destroyed I 
knew it. I knew it. Fucking bitch. What the fuck? to get me dude it's a deviant stop it. oh, oh shit okay a uh, survival problem uh save hang attack a gun I got shot. Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd Connor. Connor, no. Damn, man. <coughs> ah, they'll, 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 they'll reboot me. They'll reboot me. Don't reboot me. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I didn't even get to go to the roof. <clears throat> okay. I feel like uh, it's kind of better for me to not. What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? better if we talk inside. Little shit. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. your name? Alice. 
she's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Follow Adam upstairs, put Alice to bed, find help. Nothing explained, reassure. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We can do anything wrong. Here, misunderstanding and complicated. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Optimistic, sincere. Pessimists. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Oh, look at those fast as hell. I'll get these washed and dried. <laughs> Just eating, kiss goodnight. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. That's Rose about crossing the border. Talk to Rose. Okay. This might be the last chapter for tonight. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Oh, she's sincere. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I have many deviants, Rose. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. The deviants rose, why hope? We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen 
more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. And so there's no choice. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice seems to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Oh. Rose, come quickly. That thing be thinking, golly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Um. <coughs> we escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. Yeah. What will I do without her? What are you doing down here? Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Hey, Alice outside, stay. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, oh. No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if dad was still here. I will not hey, stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam. That's enough. Oh, damn. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you okay? Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I feel like we should comfort him. I'll go see about getting you across <laughs> the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. That thing is thingy, man. Okay.
I don't bother. Oh, look at all that. Widespread shock following the Android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast. Damn, bro, there's like so much shit to do. Free sharing, confess, explain. We don't want to cause any problems for you and your mother. We'll leave as soon as we can. <clears throat> the police! It's the police! Okay, deal with the police. What are we gonna do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. Okay, 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 okay. Definitely this thing. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. You should really call your mom, dude. Okay. Oh, he has his chip. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Upstairs in laundry, kitchen, upstairs, kitchen, laundry. In the laundry room. Come on, Alice. Okay. I have 30 seconds. Okay, anything on this side. <gasps> Look at your mom, dude. Reassure, reassure, reassure. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I think I got everything. Yeah, it looks like I got everything. <coughs> Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. I hope I miss. I didn't miss anything. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual? Okay. Hey, okay, the door is closed. Recently, any unexpected visitors? What's over there? No. No, nothing in particular. <coughs> oh! Is anyone else in the house? Uh, Alice, nobody. Alice. No. No, just us. Oh! <gasps> I missed it. Do you have any androids here? Uh, no, yes, no, yes. No, there are no androids here. Suspicion. I think that's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything. Oh. 
you. Come get your coffee, man. <laughs> Thanks. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? Uh... No. No. I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Is somebody else in the house? I uh, heard nothing when washing machine. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose! Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's fucking go, man. <laughs> <laughs>